Okay, so just ignore me. I'm just going to, before I turn on the music, I'm just going to repeat everything very quickly. The theme tonight is scales, draw, paint, sketch, whatever you want to do. Scales as patterns of fish in snakes, scales of music going up and down, scales getting bigger and smaller, scales of balance. Libra, weight, weighing, the scales of life, measuring a feather against your soul. Okay, off you go. I'm going to find us some music here.
We're looking about five more minutes. Five or six.
Okay, well, we should wrap it up soon or we're not going to get through all the sharing. So, away we go. I'm going to grab my iPad back. Go back to my headphones so you don't we don't get echo when people are talking. Okay, try me out now. Hello, anybody? Testing. There we go. Testing. Excellent. I'm not hearing echo, are you? There should be no way you can once I got my headphones on. I just don't like to do the headphone thing that much, but here we are. And now that I can't figure out how to turn my voice off, I hear myself, my radio voice. And so I get up close to the mic and uh, I go, hey, how's it going? I hope you all had a good evening drawing. <laughs> it probably doesn't quite sound as mellifluous to you as it does to me in these ear these headphones here oh. <laughs> good i'm glad i made at least one person laugh yay okay here i've got looks like at least i was laughing too i was just was on mute <laughs> <laughs> come on feed my ego <laughs> no don't feed i was thinking wolfman jack I, i'm that was a bit of a, a more like Scooby-Doo than Wolfman Jack. So here we go, ready to go. Uh, just going to show you, this is the photo I use for reference today. It's a friend of mine. I, I've i been wanting to paint this in a long time and scales made me think of music. And that's in my kitchen. And she wrote probably, I don't know if we played tonight. She wrote at least one of the pieces that we typically hear when we're we're drawing. Although her place, oh, her music is all over the place. She specifically, I think, wrote that one for us. Usually, she doesn't do that meditative stuff. She does everything from goofy, fun to acoustic, heart wrenching stuff and the like. Anyway, I did years ago. I did a self portrait playing a guitar, and then when I saw this one, I went, "Wow, the colors and light and everything are so incredible already." wants so to to be there but i actually brought this up so i could show you piper's drawing for the evening are you guys still driving carly piper you guys driving you're you're muted well, yeah we are. yeah well, well, you drive. i don't know how long two more days two more days of driving of driving. So this was all drawn while they were driving <laughs> today. And that take is a look. beautiful. Those scales. Look at the detail. How does she even manage that? I can hardly pre prevent myself from puking. So beautiful. In the passenger seat. It is. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and hey, one of the things that keeps striking me about her stuff is she's... In, do you remember her first drawings? How they were like straight on profiles of everything? Look at the, look at the gesture in this. Look at that beautiful. beautiful curve and looking over the shoulder. Isn't that something? That is gorgeous. And you can kind of see the tension of the muscles in the neck. Like I don't know if it was intentional, but you can see them. And I yeah, think. It was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. How silly of me. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the expression in the face, the come hither look, or whatever it is, and that interesting little ear there. I didn't spot that, and the hook in the in the jawline. Some lovely details, and just scale scales everywhere. So you were the one that came up with the theme, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pre-planned for yourself. And I had drawn, I had drawn the base of the dragon, so like without the scale before we started. So then oh. all of the time that we spent was just making the scales and the shadow. And the shadow. Yeah, which is also quite 
lovely too. There's some nice subtleties in there. Yeah, so, I started to gag while we were talking. Cast shadow and stuff going on there. Yep. So she had it all planned out. It was her. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, here we go. On to others. I'm assuming that Carly, being the driver, didn't draw anything except in her head. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Who would like to share next? So excited, everyone. <laughs> well, Lawrence is back with us from a long, long hiatus. I want to spotlight him and see what he's come up with tonight. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. Love it. That's kind of cool. That's really neat. Oh, you're muted. You're muted, Lawrence. We want to hear what you got to say. Somewhere there should be a little. There you go. Okay. Scales, uh, wheel or sunflowers or whatever within a wheel, but everything, the scale is tilted. So I don't know if you can tell it's either, well, which is up. Maybe that's up. Or else it's windy yeah. or whatever. But anyway, there's just one inside the other. And it's really quick. I've never done anything quite like this, but anyway, it's fun. They scale down as they go. Scale I down. think this is your first, your first time doing this with us, isn't it? Well, right at the very beginning when you started this, I was around for a couple of weeks. But Oh, that's right. Wow. Right at the beginning. That, that was like half a year ago? Longer? Longer. Yeah, I don't know. Longer. Quite a bit longer. Yeah. Well, and for those of you that are newer than Lawrence, and that's just about everybody, he was with me from the very beginning about three years ago when we were learning we to did draw. The, we did the COVID thing together. We did the COVID yeah. <laughs> in 2020. Yeah, and Christ, Christina was in on the tail end of that. And yep. uh, So you're one of the OG. And your mother. <laughs> and my mom. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Group. Excellent. Thank you for coming back. Uh, it's a delight to have you back here and have another, have a statesman gentleman with the group. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Let's see who's uh, who's next. Okay, uh, Deb, I think you've looked like you've been avail done for a while. Let's see here. I did too. I, I was going to start with this beautiful scale, some music um, clef, you know, going off into the distance, um, but. It turned out kind of messy, so I'm starting with the Bach concerto and moving into jazz. <laughs> that is really cool. That is so fun. I love it. I was listening to some jazz guitar today, and that totally makes me think of it. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you see mine, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your second one? Uh, that's gorgeous. My so second good. one. On the back, of course. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you bring it in tighter to the camera? I don't know if your camera yeah. can pull you closer. Oh, man. So the co colors wow. are blues, green, purple, against that yellow gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. I love I like it. that. Yeah. You're that's never going to tire of metallic, are you? No. <laughs> please don't. Oh, please don't. <laughs> I'm painting metallic portraits soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be painting the Tin Man. I actually thought of you when I was shopping for paints because I saw some metallics and when I was doing it, and I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> <laughs> Next time for you. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, Evelyn, you ready? You're back after a bit of a hiatus as well. It's been a while I've since been we've doing been doing some arting, but just not not here. Yeah, you've been doing your your own thing. Oh, oh. oh love it! That's really cool. I don't quite know why they're circles, but because <laughs> they needed to be circles. You have two they, different scales of scales. They did. Yeah. There needs to be a third because two is never right. But I'm not. I'm not <laughs> done. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Then you just go on. <coughs> mm. Scales within scales. And yeah. that's, that's quite lovely. All right, let's go to Josie. Yes, yeah, so when I heard the, the prompt, phone crowd. Um, the first thing I thought of was the scales of the dead in Egyptian mythology and Libra because I was born in October, so I'm a Libra. So I kind of I too. combined that idea. See mm -hmm. if I can... Oh, mm. so cool. Oh, wow. oh my wow. gosh. So cool. Thank you. Nice. That's the uh, devourer of hearts. So if you fail on the scales against the feather, your heart yeah. gets eaten by Amit, who is wow. part hippo, part lion, part crocodile. Very hard to draw, all terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. I don't suppose you've been that's watching so the, the Marvel TV series? Um, no, I want to see Moon Knight. I just haven't Moon seen Knight? any of it yet. Yeah. yeah. In uh, in the first season, Amit is the, uh, is the antagonist. Wow. Makes sense. And you get to see this creature, and I love your portrayal of it. And your explanation, which clears up some of the show up for me as well. I know <laughs> a lot of these things. But yeah, that's an amazing portrayal. Thank you. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Where should we go next? Christy, how about you? Oh, yeah, sure. I just zen tangled some scales. Excellent. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. But you've got, you've got some jazz. notes going on too. You've got, I you've got jazz. She's got pyramids. She's got uh, uh, dragon scales. She's got everything going on, right? Yeah, a little and, bit of everything. I started with pangolins up here because pangolins are the only mammals known to have scales. And yeah. <laughs> I do like pangolin scales. Great idea. Sorry, clarify. <laughs> Oh, what's that? What? Yeah. What, what did you say? I missed all that. Oh, I said that. Uh, I said that I started with pangolin scales. They're pangolin. The, the only okay. mammal known to have scales. How can it be a mammal then? Do they also have <laughs> <laughs> the scales? Kind of like like. It takes a God? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, people were talking. I couldn't I couldn't hear what was going on. All right. Well, I'll have to look that one up. And maybe the thing. They're like tiny T Rexes, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that there, but Oh, there we can. Yes. And that what makes it a mammal? <laughs> yeah, good There's question. Live young and all the other things. It, okay. It produces its own body heat. Yeah. And it probably and live young and produces milk. Yeah. And has those hairs. Which, you know, mm -hmm. as long as it's got nose it's got hair. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Learn something new every time we come. <laughs> this is <laughs> not necessarily what we want to learn, but there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Jocelyn, love that you set up that camera for us. Thank you so much. I that love so it. Cool. I didn't spotlight you enough. Yeah. I was. Uh, you so can't fine. I'm starting to put in the black keys. Yes. But it's a keyboard. Yeah. That's really cool. In space. In, 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 in quantum space or something. I don't know. Multi, um, um, what do I call it? Multiverse. Be creative. <laughs> yeah, love it. And seeing your creative setup is fun too. And your cats, thank you for bringing them. That was. <laughs> well, I, I don't have to walk all my friends because I live in Fort Saskatchewan and all my friends are everywhere else. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Jennifer, you're up. Um, am I able to share screen? Uh, you, well, I can make it so you can. That makes, Perfect. makes it easier. There we go. You should be good. Yes, it will definitely make it easier. <laughs> mm. Did you go digital tonight or did you photograph it? Uh, yeah, digital tonight. Okay, we'll find out. Yeah. Hey, 
That's really cool. Oh, love it. Oh, here. I love the colors. Okay. Hi. And then I did another one of just playing with fish scales. Oh, I love that. Oh, one. that's so cool. I like fish. Oh, wow. It's like fish through a fish eye lens. <laughs> this one's not quite finished, but this one was pretty fun. That's what I did. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can share this with the, on the uh, stream, unfortunately, because it shows up differently than all the other views. Um, I can put the JPEGs in the chat if you yeah, that would that would help. Then I could share it through there. Ooh, yeah. Cool. Pop some JPEGs and then I'll, I'll put this on a little later. I was busy there. So sh sh that, show me the other one again before you do it. Oh, no. Go ahead and, you know, go ahead and. Oh. I'm so scattered. Oh, fish as scales. The fish themselves are the scales. I love it. Cool. Cool. Yeah, send me the JPEGs and I'll uh, I'll share them so that they're included in the stream, so anyone watching later gets to see them. I don't want people to miss out. Okay, excellent. Irene, how are you feeling? You you are always working till the very last moment. <laughs> you and Christina, can you can you stop a moment and share for us? Oh, I thought of my. Beta fish, his name is Fly. I bought him in my on my birthday in October, and Evelyn said he won't live more than four months. But he's still alive. <laughs> That's my experience. You're better with them. So this is him. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Is that in your toilet, Irene, or is it still alive? Oh, he's still alive. He's doing good. Oh, good job. That's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, fish nice. can look so well. I've had mine for like a while ago. I had them. Oh, you're cutting out. We, we I think we've been fish for a few years, so they can live a while. Oh, okay. Just not in my house. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've got to get these over just a second. Is there a share button for these? I got to get them onto my iPad. Airdrop. Just a second here. I'm just trying to get Jennifer's. So just to make sure we get these. We haven't seen Christina's yet. Yep. I'm, I'm giving her all the time in the world. <laughs> there's, there's, I know, I know she wants all the time she can get. So there's Jennifer's. I love that fish as scales, the scales within the scales, repeating patterns. It was very cool. And this one here. Lovely color harmony here. And the scales almost make like a cloud bank with a bit of lightning lighting it up. Other options to do it. I don't know. So there's some cool stuff. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. So now, see, Christina was thankful for the extra time. And is there anyone else we've missed? No. Everyone that stayed with us. Uh, no, this is good. Oh, by the way, yes, I welcome you all to share your art in the Facebook group. Uh, typically, if I don't lose my brain and I'm not too dead tired, I post within about half an hour uh, my art and then uh, ask you to post yours either as comments or as your own post within the Facebook group so we can share with the larger audience and uh, get your work out there. 
you know, because everything that we're doing is, I think, valuable and it's worth sharing. Uh, it's, it's great to build your confidence in sharing, um, no matter what. There's an audience, would you believe it? There's an audience for everything. And sometimes it's just finding your audience or just n not even worrying about that and just go. Uh, that's why, why I posted for today's for today's uh, meeting the uh, that little thing that said, there's no failure as an artist. Mm. Right? Just being an artist is the success right there. Just doing it. Yep. And... There are a, a lot of people who have opposing opinions to that, and I don't agree. And I've had some interesting conversations <laughs> with people, and they think I'm and I'm crazy because I'm I'm more about the participation and about the expression and about the doing. And if you want to, then grow and perfect, absolutely. But just what you're doing is absolutely fine. <sighs> you know. And all, all the, all of society is a construct. <laughs> all the rules are constructs. All the levels and professional versus—it's all constructs. Somebody made it up. You can choose to ignore it if you want. You can play your own game. You can make your own rules. Guess what? Somebody's going to agree with you, and somebody's going to disagree with you, and that's all cool. All right, here we go, Christina. I waxed waxed my elephants there a little too long. <laughs> okay, so I did uh, I did one, and my other one is not finished, of course. Um, so uh, coming with the whole scales thing, um, it it's more like a theory exam, but um, this oh, wow. is uh, Bakken. A little buck three part invention number 13, and it's got like my notes and also my piano teacher's notations to me, like to slow down, hold this. Um, and it's just, I think that music is actually quite beautiful to look at. There's a lot yeah. of artistry in how the notes are made. Um, so so there's that. And this is why we practice our scales and arpeggios because of these things right here. Yeah. And then. Um, I'll wait for my comment on it. Ooh. Ooh. So Ooh. it's, it's going to be a crocodile. I don't oh. know if you can see the fact that it's a crocodile. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very good. Wow. So it's so not done. Oh, Furley, that's lots. Furley got excited about the crocodile. He did. He's, he's barking the danger sign. <laughs> Those, I like the details on the scales. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow, that's gorgeous. So I was going to make a comment again. Is it okay that I wax my elephants a little bit more? There's one of my favorite books in the world is called Gödel Escher Bach. And it compares the music of Bach with the art of Escher. If you guys don't know MC Escher, he's the guy that does the birds that interlock and the lizards that become real and then flat again and the hand painting the hand or drawing the hand and all that and the oh and the weird spaces where the stairs are. Oops, the stairs and the doorways are all at different dimensions. And uh, it's pretty, and they compares that to then again to, to Alice in Wonderland, the writings of Lewis Carroll, and to Gödel's mathematical theories and compares them all and talks about, um, oh man, it's been so long since I read it, about the meta way they all connect and and the things he talks about in box music how mathematical it is how he takes the same thing and he repeats it three or four times and then he'll repeat it backwards then he'll repeat it upside down and it's just so meticulously and amazingly constructed and it's it's pretty brilliant stuff uh you're muted christina What's amazing about Bach, these, these inventions particularly, is that um, 
he wrote these for his children. And I kind of think he was a bit of a sadist. <laughs> <laughs> because this music is so hard. It's a mathematical genius and expects the genius. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so one of the things that Bach did with his work is that um, particularly in his uh, earlier inventions, this is a great, is that he has the one right hand say we'll start and do a something and in the left hand we'll repeat what the first hand is doing, but right. he'll, the, the, the hand that's repeating is a few bars behind. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you've got all the technique that Bach throws in as well. So some notes, just by virtue of being eighth notes, are played as a staccato, whereas everything else is played smoothly. So you've got the bouncing, um, what do you call it, techniques against each other. And then plus, you, you need to be proficient in your scales and arpeggios because the music is just really, really challenging in terms of technique. And so I, I recall the book, the, like the major theme is talking about recursive realities and how Bach will take his realities and overlap them and turn them upside down and backwards and make them all mm -hmm. fit together. And it's just like amazing. He's a mathematical genius as well as a musician and all these other geniuses and what they were talking about. Anyway, I've gone on and on. I did wax my elephants. They're shiny clean now. <laughs> so I guess I'm the last one to show tonight. And you may have already seen kind of what I'm doing in the background here and certainly mine isn't finished and wasn't meant to be finished tonight so um but this I, I think for me Monday nights may change they may become more part of my my actual studio practice if you guys don't mind so so there's the beginning of I love it. That's awesome. So beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Furley likes it too. <laughs> Thank you, Furley. So I love watching you work on that, Randall. I felt like it was maybe a preview to what's to come. Did you notice how I didn't paint any objects? I only painted. I very much noticed. Colors. Yeah. I was like all over the place. I didn't. Yeah, zoom in here, zoom in there. Yep, and as soon as you get caught up painting a nose or something like that, you're sounding the death knell. You are not going to get it right. You need to just see the shapes. So there you go. That is if you're all about getting the shapes right. And I am at this point. Someday, I'll maybe move on to something different. Okay, well, that is it for the evening. You guys did a fantastic job. Thank you for so many showing up. Hey. What's the what's this one's name? Sapphire. That's oh, that's Sapphire there. And Jocelyn, what were what were your guests special guest names? Uh, the blonde one was Nyla, and the calico was Ellie. Good. Okay. Excellent. Thanks for bringing them along. I always love having our furry friends along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this kind of gets my jazz going doing this when you all show up and really go for it. And the fact that we're doing more complex prompts and taking them new and different directions and everyone brings such new and interesting things to us. I'm feeling so DJ today. I, I <laughs> with this, this, this is so DJ. Yes. Well, thank you everyone for showing up and uh, we'll see you. All next week. <laughs> I'm, I'm so DJ. I'm putting the mic in the scene. I don't, I usually have it down here and so you can't see it. But it sounds so much better when it's up here. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, we're at 8.42. Thank you very much. We'll see you all Monday, or if not sooner. Those that uh, those that are taking the painting class, do we want to stop and talk right now about that? I yeah. hear. <laughs> That's a good yep. Okay, so those that want to take the painting class, we're going to start next week. Uh, $297 with a 10% discount, I believe, for all of you because you're in the group. And we're just going to talk about scheduling here. So anyone that's not interested... You have to be able to draw a portrait in light and shadow. That's all. If you've got that skill or have taken my classes at that point, you can jump in. I'm going to take a break. I've got somebody at the door here. I'm going to be back in two minutes and we'll talk. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye, all. Thank you, Randall.
do stick around if you want to talk about the timing. We'll, I'll be right back. Hello. Piper, I don't know if you can hear me, but where are you guys headed to? North. Oh, you cut out. North. I can. North Dakota. Ah, oh, okay. How long have you guys been driving? Oh, seven and a half hours. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm back. And I'm going to throw my calendar. Because I, like I said, I just got my rehearsal calendar. And it, suddenly I'm like, oh, I'm, good thing we didn't start the class. or Because we'd probably have had to shift the classes around. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We can ignore all of these yellow things. I can put those out of the way. There we go. And then I can show the calendar. So this is next week. So you can see my calendar next week is plenty empty, but then suddenly I've got rehearsals Wednesday evening, and that's fine. But then the next two weeks, I have rehearsals. No, the next one week, I have re rehearsals Wednesday afternoon. So we it might just be one week. We have to adjust things. Oh, there again, Wednesday afternoons. Not saying that Wednesday afternoons, but that was one of the times that everyone seemed to be interested in. So if you look at, let's let's look at my busiest calendar, which is that one there. And that's Monday to Sunday right there, where we can just shift it Sunday to Saturday. What works for you guys in terms of that? If, I don't know if you can see it really that well. Uh, Tuesdays I, and uh, Fridays work for me for sure. As, and Mondays, whatever, like, whatever works for you, Randall, I can make work for me. So the things that are open the, the most are Mondays and Tuesdays. Wednesdays, I've only got two weeks where we'd have to adjust. Um, Mondays and, and Tuesdays are generally better for me as well. What's that? Mondays and Tuesdays are generally better for me. Once oh, okay. I finally open the escape room, I should have, um, we're probably not going to be open either of those days, so I can do whatever I want. And we've been we're doing things at like four to what four to six, typically my my time. And is that still a good time? What do the Kex think? What are your? I think you, Carly, you weren't available. What time, what time did you say? Four to six on a say a Tuesday is a possibility, or a Monday. Uh. Carly wouldn't be able to come, but I could. You could. Deb, what's what's your take on this? I can do Tuesday four to six. Um, Monday's halfway through June. I think I'm free, but not until then. Um, well, my preference would be Tuesdays. Tuesdays work for me too. They work for you too. So is there anybody that Tuesday, other than Carly, and I think Carly, anything later than she, for her, it would have to be like 1 p.m., something like that, right? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I might be able to come sometime. I just might commit to the... Do, she, might be, she might be able to come sometime, just she wouldn't be able to commit from 4 to 6. Okay. Well, does earlier work for other people? Does the earlier work for other people? No, it doesn't work for Deb. Okay. Uh, anybody else it doesn't work for? Oh, Deb, you're muted. You're muted, Deb. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, um, sadly, a lot of days I have meetings that go until four, so 
yeah. before then is hard for me. Even yeah. four is tight, but I can make that work. Your stuff's all, but your stuff is online? Typically your meetings are online? Normally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, uh, and I'm thinking, is this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing maybe one person. Who's the other? Oh, Linda, and she, she jammed early. She said she was interested. So I think, uh, but she hasn't committed. And you are all people that I think have all pretty firmly committed. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we will go with you uh, being the decision maker. So I, th I would say Tuesday four to six would be like primo for me. That works really well for me too. Okay. Yeah. Sad about uh, Carly, but <laughs> depending what time I have a softball game on Tuesday, I might have to jet out a little bit early. But otherwise, it works for me. Okay. I can make it work for me at least. <laughs> Yeah. And at this point, I, I'm, I'm going to say we're not going to have improve your art right away. But if, if I start to advertise and some people uh, start to subscribe to that, then I will start it up and you guys will be able to jump in for free. But we won't have it for the first week or two for sure. So don't depend on it. Okay. Uh, but that being such a small class, you're all going to get plenty of time with me and should you ever run into problems have any questions need some personal guidance you'd know you know where i am i'm just at the end of that button right <laughs> i'm in that group we can start a chat if we did the, i bet half the time if we started a, a video chat in the group uh, half the people would jump on and uh, <laughs> they'd be there with us so we'd have our, our little group so don't don't suffer through and have questions and stuff that you, you know either you just text it just text it into the chat or else start up a call uh you do see though and here's just the quick rundown for you not that it affects you but let me see if we start next week that's one week there two there which is not a very very busy week three gets super busy for me Believe me, these are long days outdoors in the sun, mm -hmm. running up and down hills. So is that three? That's three. This is four. This is five. That's six. And that's seven. So by seven, I'll be in performance. I'll be second week of performances. So I'll still be doing passion play all the way along. In that, I'll, that It'll end right after the first weekend of performances. And then I have two more weeks of performances. And then I'm free again. Looks like you can sleep on Mondays, Randall, and then you'll be fresh for us. Yeah. Uh, I, well, you know what? Before I come in with the Arting with Randall live uh, on Mondays, typically, I am napping. Today was a very busy day. I didn't get any naps. But it was very busy socially and exercise and nature. And I haven't had that nice combination in a while. It was just... Aww wonderful day but uh, when I first came on you probably saw I was a bit dozy and I've been going through like two caffeines and I'm still gonna go straight to bed pretty soon here <laughs> anyway I should get into the group I should post uh I don't even know if I post mine yet yeah I guess it doesn't hurt to post in process I always ask you guys to do hey look at that Jocelyn let's take a look Oh, love it. So cool. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I do love that. That's very cool. And it, you could even play that. It's got all the black and whites in the right place too. <laughs> are, are we still live streamed or? Oh yeah, we still are. I, <laughs> I guess I should have turned that off. Uh, thank you for letting me 